Guess what? It is time for a ripoff recipe. That's right. At Sam's Club, about every two or three weeks, we're picking up um, the Olive Garden dressing. We buy it in the twin pack like this. And it's just getting expensive. Jack Jr. drinks it. Basically, on his salad, it's beautiful. It's a great flavor. In fact, you can buy it at the restaurant if you're at the table. They'll bring you a bottle, but it's still pricey. So I'm going to show you how to make, I haven't tried it yet. We're going to try it together today. I'm going to show you how to make your own Olive Garden Italian dressing that's even better. Now in dressing, recipe is really simple. Measure all the ingredients, stick them in a jar, shake it up, and hopefully it comes out the way you want it to. Let's go over all the ingredients. You got white vinegar, you have dried parsley, you're gonna have freshly squeezed lemon juice, olive oil, Parmesan grated, honey, granulated garlic, black pepper, red pepper flakes, basil and oregano, and a little bit of water, and I think that's it. We're gonna make a double batch and pop it in this jar, okay? So let's see if this recipe, this recipe claims to be better than Olive Garden dressing, right there. That's what it says, better than Olive Garden dressing is what this recipe is all about. So let's try it out and see if it really is, all right? All right, we got everything measured out according, we doubled everything because we're making twice as much. Now I combined the parsley, garlic, red pepper flakes, all the seasonings in one, I put them in a little bowl, okay? So you're gonna see them all together. So let's put the seasoning in first, okay? I'm gonna put that right at the bottom. Okay, and let's get the cheese in, because I don't want that, I, want, I don't want, that's probably gonna splash. Here we go. It's the Parmesan cheese. I knew it. Okay, there's a correction in the recipe. It wasn't white vinegar, it was white wine vinegar, and that's this right here. So we have white wine vinegar going in. Extra virgin olive oil. In dressing, you should always use extra virgin. Once you cook extra virgin, it's no longer extra virgin. It turns into regular olive oil. So you only use extra virgin in cold recipes, like dressings. There we go. All right. Our lemon juice. Here goes our honey. I put a little extra because honey's so thick that most of it's not going to come out of this container. Let's get our water in there. There we go. Now we could shake it all up. This is a double size, just to show you what it looks like before I shake it. Now I'm going to make sure the lid's on tight. All right. Okay, so this is probably going to gross some of you out. It's like licking your finger when you get salad dressing on it. I'm just going to take a little sip out of this, okay? <laughs> I could put a spoon in there, but yeah, I will. Hold on. Okay, this is probably gonna gross some of you out because I'm eating it straight and not on the salad or anything, okay? But I really wanna make sure it's all mixed up. I feel, I still feel the cheese isn't really broken up yet. Mmm, that is good. It tastes, I'm gonna be totally honest with you. This tastes like Italian dressing, but doesn't taste like Olive Garden Italian dressing. It's a little bit tangier. That red wine vinegar is hitting my glands. It's a little bit cheesier. That's what I like most about this dressing. It's cheesier than Olive Garden dressing. I can taste the Parmesan in it. It's so good. This is definitely a go-to. Is it better than Olive Garden dressing? It's not a true rip-off recipe, but it's comparable. It'll make you just as happy on a salad, all right? All right, you guys, you try it out too. Just mix it up in a jar, give it a taste, and let me know what you think, okay? I love you guys, and I will see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.